Hey guys, Anglor here. Welcome back to Fantasy Star Universe. In the last part, we made a gigantic trek across whatever this place was to make it to some core room or whatever because it was overheating or something. I really don't remember. And in this part, we most definitely have a boss to beat. Or maybe we don't, and I thought I was way further ahead than what I was. Or I could be wrong, and that green door at the end's where I want to go. No, but it'd be nice if these things just didn't keep attacking me. Oh, and of course there's a confused status effect. Plus side, Rising Crush leveled up to level 25. Well, there's one target left, but... That thing is the king of spamming knockback attacks. Okay, where did that guy come from? So Maya's just standing there being dumb. So it looks like we're in a new block. This is definitely the boss block. Oh. That thing's been nesting in here? Doctor, go get back to the last room. Yes, good idea. <sighs> Great. So we get to fight one of those dragon things. I can expect a lot of flying around. Or maybe not. Okay. Really? Why does the thing step in hurt me? Let me just use my strategy of letting it... What's it even trying to do? This boss has surprisingly weak damage output. And then that happens. What? Maybe that's why this boss is hard. Not because it does damage, but because literally every attack it uses is some sort of status effect. There's also the stomping too. Time to just spam Rising Crush. Run away because it's turning around again. Are you serious? What's it even trying to do? I didn't know it could shoot through its own body without hurting itself. I'm gonna need a photo 
one charge. Kidding me, right? Well, I wasn't wasting my photon charge. I still have more than enough, though. Fight taking about a thousand years, but not being very difficult. Okay, surely this is actually damaging it. And again, the thing has like no damage output, so whatever. Give me an A rank. Not bad, but I know that you can do oh, better. Oh, shut up. And I'm almost at a level four, whatever it is, level. So now we can take the command room and stop whatever reaction was happening from happening. I'm surprised the boss was that easy though. So the cedar behind us as usual. So something happens and there's a bunch of enemies. And now we get a cutscene. wonder these things attract the seed. It looks a lot like the seed flowers you had to kill early on in the game. Well, it looks like it just evaporated upon that thing being deactivated? Reactivated? I don't know. 
happened? Where did they go? It's like they just disappeared. Actually, this is a result of the confinement system. It looks as though our theories were correct. That's great! That means it was activated. Yes, it would appear so. Well, come on then, let's go find our friends, huh? Huh? No one's here. I wonder where they went. Professor Taragi! Lou! Let me guess, they were caught up in the same thing. What's this? <gasps> it's Lou's hat! Was she captured? The Endrum Collective. And Professor Taragi, most likely. But don't worry. We know where they are. We do? How? We fitted them with homing devices. Wait. Professor, you knew they'd be captured? Yes, we thought it so. It can't be! He's sacrificing himself to find our missing scientists. He's always doing this. This was important, and he kept it from me. Don't be hard on him. Perhaps he only wanted to protect you from the truth. So it looks like Ko screwed up again. Well, that's a significantly different ending than the last one. This song's actually pretty smooth. <laughs> Karen still shows up at the bottom like she's an important character. I'm not even using a gun or that costume on Ethan. Why is he being shown like this? A distress beacon is detected in the desert, and Ethan and his companions are sent out, only to get caught in the crossfire between the Endrum Collective and the Landil. Ethan must now escape from Renvolt Magashi's wrath. Who is sending out the distress signal? Next time on Fantasy Star Universe, Hot SOS. And with that, we are officially more than halfway through the game. Actually, no. I think we already were. I'm pretty sure the game only has 14 chapters. Anyway, I'll start the next chapter next part. So, see you guys then.